the coalition you belong to, Honorable Jeanette, had no opportunity to appoint anybody to any position of uh, <laughs> a cabinet <laughs> secretary. And Honorable Speaker, I was not uh, pretending to be answering. I was just uh, speaking to facts, and uh, those facts are within the public domain that we project to harvest close to 30 million bags this year, and our normal consumption is about 40 million bags. So there will definitely be a shortage of maize. However, and Honorable Speaker, that's uh, the point at which uh, Honorable Jeanette interrupted me uh, because he's, he's averse to the truth and facts. He thrives in propaganda, in windows, and uh, such like things. Uh, but facts of the matter, Honorable Speaker, are that with the yes, anticipated Honorable shortage, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Jeanette, what is... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you know, this is a house of records, Mr. Speaker. When you insinuate or when you say that... Uh, I thrive on propaganda and when, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this man used to be a very good man before he became the majority leader. Now power has gotten into his head. Mr. Speaker, we need to take him to rehabilitation in this uh, coming, this session that we are, this recess, this long recess. And I'm traveling with him, I'll tell him what to do. Please, Chamber, you are a good man, Bana. Easy, these small jobs that you are, we are given, we have gone through this. So please. Don't say that I thrive on propaganda. There is no propaganda. I was just telling you that go and get the answer from the Minister for Agriculture. Why, or the Minister for Industry, why he's importing 10 million bags of GMO. And they're saying even the ship has docked. That's what today the newspapers were saying. Whether it is true or false, we don't know. Those are the information. Go and fetch for us. You're just a messenger. Stick to your job. Yeah. Finish up, uh, majority. Just tell us when you want to bring. Honorable, to Honorable Speaker, you know when I when I said uh, the Honorable Junet thrives in uh, propaganda. Yeah, he's now quoting newspapers. That <laughs> it's only him who seems to have read those newspapers. Uh, I I I read his tweet yesterday, speaking to matters that are already before a committee of this house where he sits in, and those tweets, Honorable Speaker, and I think is something that we also may need to address ourselves to. You cannot yes, be Honourable tweeting on matters Speaker. that are before committees of the House, contrary to Standing Order 86. And he was a mem is a member of that committee and never attends committee Majority, sittings. there is a point of order from the Honorable Ferdinand. Give him the mic. Mr. Speaker, I just want to make a correction. But the figures that uh, the leader of the majority is coming up with are falsy. I come from the North Rift. What there is that we have, we estimated, and in fact, Mr. Speaker, there are farmers who have refused to sell maize for the previous season. 